the Commander-in-Chief of our Pacific Forces, Admiral John S. McCain, Jr. As your Commander-in-Chief, I want to wish every man and woman in this great command a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I would like to encompass this by saying the warmest personal greetings for the holiday season, which we are now approaching. And I would like to say further to you that although these greetings may have a hollow sound to some of you, I want you to understand that for those of you, and there are many in this command, who will spend this Christmas away from home and your loved ones, that what you have done in the sacrifices that you have made in the pursuit of your individual duties will more than make up for this separation. As you know, we are living in a troubled world. And again, too, the very foundation of those principles that we believe in in the United States are under attack from aggressive forces and also enemy forces, to say the least. Now, in the performance of your duties, I would say to you that in the future years of the United States, that you who are going to become the leaders are now establishing a platform from which to execute these responsibilities. And again, in the separation from home, the platform that you have established may well serve in the future to make it unnecessary for those of us who follow to continually and constantly be called away from home in the pursuit of duties which ensure this liberty which we know so well in this great nation of ours. So with these very serious points in mind, and with the great pride that I have in the individual performances of each one of you as a member of this command, and the pride that I have in the personal association with such fine soldiers, airmen, sailors, and coast guardsmen, and above all else, citizens of our great nation, with this point of pride in mind, I wish you again a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless you. As your Commander-in-Chief, Commander-in-Chief of the Pacific, I want to take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I do this with great pride in a realization of the fine performance of every officer and man in this broad command in the interest of freedom and justice for all. And I want to say to you this, that this greeting may have a hollow note to you, those particularly who are away from home. But I also want to say that your uh, deprivation of home life is certainly not done in vain. Now, amongst you are going to be those who will be the leaders in the future years to come. And what you have been doing here today and the year past and the years past in the interest of freedom will establish that platform from which you will execute your responsibilities of the future. And as you grow older in the business, you will understand more thoroughly what I'm saying to you. And I say to you again that a thankful nation can bless all of you in this great command in this regard in particular. And you represent the finest in American citizens. And when you return home, it's your patriotism which is going to set again the example for not only those at home, but those throughout the world. And I want to say finally to every soldier, sailor, airman, and marine, for me personally, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless you. I thank you. Thank you.